Hello crafty friend, it's Justine. Today I'm going to show you three different projects with my game day collection. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure to click the link in the description so you can see all the products. We have three dies, one embossing folder, and one stamp set. So I'm first going to start with a hockey card. And of course I had to use the colors for the Minnesota Wild since I am from Minnesota. We just had to do that. So <laughs> this is representing the back of a hockey jersey. So it has captain on the back and we have the sleeves going on just like so. I've gone ahead and stamped out captain and that's from my stamp set. And since this is the back of the shirt, I have the sleeves going on the back of the main piece there. And I am just kind of stretching those out just so they're a little bit of a more hefty shoulder because those hockey players have those big pads and everything so we have to have a big shoulder area. Then we have these little cuffs that go on the sleeves like so. And those are really just give a little finishing look to the sleeve. And then I had to add two different pieces there because I just wanted to add the red back in there. And I'm going to have the red on the number as well. So it just kind of will all tie together. Now my number dies are super fun because you can add any different number to customize your jersey for any sport with any number. So if you are giving a card to someone who is number 11, like this, you can go ahead and have that on the jersey, which is so fun. And it's really my favorite part of this whole collection is how customizable you can make your cards. Because my favorite part about card making is really just seeing uh, the look of the person the recipient of a card and just really enjoying it and custom cards are kind of my favorite thing to do for card making so having something that is special and custom for someone is just so sweet and it's just really a love a love way <laughs> a loving way to um, give a gift to someone plus for um, different people in sports you can give out cards so if it's a coach or an assistant coach or a manager anyone you can pop a gift card in with your sporty card and it's just a very sweet and special way to give a card to someone and for hockey we have a puck and a stick so if you're interested to see how I put together all of the dies and all of the jerseys and all the equipment, make sure you check out my class that's going on at the Spellbinders website. And that went up on the 10th, which was last Sunday. So that should be up for you now if this video is up. <laughs> Speaking of last week, we had a video hop with six awesome crafters. So if you missed it, I'm so sorry, but we did a giveaway with a $25 gift card. So if you're interested in more giveaways and more hops, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any. Now I've been playing around with the idea of doing a live next Sunday. I'm not sure if that's going to work out or not. We will see, but if you're interested in a live with my collection, make sure to join my Facebook group called Spellbinder Maker Group. And I will be uh, putting the information for that live on there if I am going to be part <laughs> of a live. Sorry, I just got a weird notification on my phone and I got very distracted. <clears throat> anyway. Now for my sentiment, I have a little bit of foam tape just to pop it up and I just really love the stamp set. I know I've talked about it a lot on my YouTube, but having it say winner, you're in a league of your own, I just think is so special, especially with the captain wording on the jersey itself, just because it just kind of all coordinates as this very special card for a fun hockey player. And of course, I'm going to have the stick kind of going across the jersey and have the puck kind of flying up as if the stick just kind of hit it. <laughs> I will post at the end of this video all of the kind of product images so you can see 
for this card everything I used and the name of it if you're interested. Of course they had to use a little foam on that puck just to give it a little bit of dimension which I love. Texture and dimension are just fabulous. Okay let's move on to my next card. Oh isn't that just pretty? Anyway <laughs> my next card golf. Here we are and I chose to go bright and vibrant and green and my little sentiment says I love your winning smile which is just very endearing isn't it? <laughs> my golf shirt I chose to go with a polo style so once I get the ball and the tee on the card I will just put together that shirt for you to see and you can see that lime green paper has so much texture from that embossing folder I just I love it. I love the way the light catches it. It's not a 3D embossing folder. It's a regular one, but it does have a lot of dimension. So I'm just very excited to use all the products on all the cards. <laughs> I am so thankful for the opportunity to even put out a collection with Spellbinders. It is definitely one of my business goals, if you will, to be able to do this and the opportunity arose and here we are a year later with my collection so I am just very excited and happy about it. Now let's take a closer look at the shirt to go ahead and talk about how to put it together. So first I'm adding on this main collar piece and just giving it a good squeeze so it is nice and secure and then I'm adding on these little extra lapel pieces which kind of give a little dimension to the collar and help to make it look like there is a hole for your head, which I think is just very simple but effective. Then I'll add on this little piece that looks kind of like a bird beak that is going to show that the shirt has somewhat of an opening and it has an etching for two buttons there. And just like that we have a polo so a polo just like that could be used for tennis as like a polo tank top you could add sleeves like I'm going to do right here and finish it off to make a polo t-shirt anytime I use the polo die I'm gonna put these sleeves on the back of the main body piece just so it looks like it has a regular t-shirt look to it I just love the way that this looks with the card I think that the this shirt or polo if you will would be so fun to make some either Father's Day or Mother's Day cards with the polo I think that would be a great touch you just have to shop your collection and grab a Father's Day or Mother's Day sentiment and pop it right on the card but that is just great now to finish off the card I will add my golf club right there and just kind of add it at an angle you can see that I used the white cardstock coloring method with this die as well just to customize the color and have everything kind of be just so. And if you look right by my left pointer finger on the club part, you can see I added these little lines to add the coloring and texture for this golf club. And I just love the way that that turned out. So sweet and very effective. Now my last card, I had to do a lacrosse one, and this one was the card that I wanted to showcase the fabulous embossing folder. So I didn't put a jersey on at all and just put two rackets and the sentiment. So this is actually the card they used for the packaging for the embossing folder, which just makes my heart so happy <laughs> to see. But I chose to use the sentiment, way to go, goal getter, because in the cross there are goals. So there's that. But you can add that sentiment to any sport that has a goal and get a similar result. Of course, I'm popping this up with some foam tape and popping it kind of near the bottom of my card. And I really just want that embossing folder to pop and shine and have these little lacrosse rackets. I think they're rackets, no, lacrosse sticks. And the little lacrosse ball just to kind of add to the beautiful colors that I have going on with this card. And I wasn't sure with the placement of everything, but I wanted to give you a close up look at the difference between these two sticks. So on the yellow one, I only colored gray on the neck part and left the bottom white. 
and on the green lacrosse stick I added the green on the top and then the yellow kind of mirrors it a little bit but I wanted the sticks to be different so the gray on that green one goes all the way down to the handle and then I popped a black handle on the handle area so there's just a little quick look for you there <laughs> even with the same die you can customize it and make it kind of fun and of course I added that little green ball now that little ball you could use for different sports you could use that for softball for baseball bowling not so much so let's start over. Baseball, softball, golf. You could use that as a mini golf ball, uh, tennis, or lacrosse. So depending on the colors you choose, it will kind of work for a few different things. Um, or you could add it with a different stamp. I know Simon Hurley has the, the dogs, and I think that that ball would be kind of fun with the dogs. So I don't know. Just a little side note here as I'm doing my voiceover. But I just really enjoyed making this collection and I cannot wait to see what you make with this. I am just so excited. So thank you so much for being a part of this little card community that I have here on YouTube and on Facebook. I am so thankful for everyone who has given their kind words and support. I am a tad bit overwhelmed with <laughs> the kind of response from this collection. It's just wonderful. And I know that everyone can make fabulous cards with this because it's customizable. You can give it to different loved ones in your life. Young, old, girl, boy, anyone would love a sporty card depending on the sport. And I really did try to get in as many sports as possible with this collection so you can make cards for anyone who loves lacrosse, tennis, bowling, softball, baseball, basketball, volleyball, base, <laughs> let me start over, ah, lacrosse, tennis, golf, bowling, softball, baseball, volleyball, hockey, basketball, soccer, and football. Yikes, that is such a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, I will put on some little embellishments on this one just to give a little interest. These are the rounded little adhesive dots that Spellbinders has. So you can get those on the Spellbinders website as well. I will post some cute pictures after I'm done adding these embellishments of just some descriptions for you if you wanted to remake any of the cards I did today. And it shows you the products that I used. So stay tuned for those in just a few seconds. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Happy crafting. Bye.